Hey everybody, welcome back. Here we are, it's a new day. I'm honestly, like, with the whole scope of stuff that's been going on this week, losing an Azazel run, I'm just like a normal guy. Are you this regular Maggie? Is that... I don't really care. Like, both Maggies are fun to play as. I just want to know. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even close. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> it wasn't even in the same ballpark. Okay. Yeah, I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, again, still, you know, pretty... Uh, I don't know what word I would use. It's like a stressful time over here, but it's not like uncertainty. There's no real, like, you know danger or anything like that it's just normal you know baby child rearing stuff plus uh, a illness that's moving its way through all of vancouver right now i think or maybe i'm assuming it's you know it spreads that's kind of what these things do um previously at least as long as i've been a streamer one of the things that uh, parents will say to you even when you don't have a kid is like oh it's a really nasty cold and flu season this year Prior to, um, you know, basically this year, never really was an issue for me because I spent almost all of my time inside in like a, a in my safe six, <laughs> as Bonnie Henry would say. What an amazing play. Um, so I was, you know, it's like, was it, is it the cable guy where Jim Carrey says, you know, the winters, are, it's always, the weather's always great in here. The winters are remarkably mild. Maybe, I, I can't remember if it's that or if it's the Truman Show. Both seem appropriate, but, um, so it was like that, you know? What cold and flu season? I haven't interacted with anybody in like eight days. I got, uh, or, or maybe 80 days, enough time to go around the world if I did leave the house. But um, you just kind of go, yeah, whatever. I don't need to worry about that stuff because I'm not eight years old. Well, now I got to worry about it again. Even today, I got, uh, like, I, I feel 100%. Um, but I got my uh, winter tires put on so that like in the month if we're feeling better We can you know go up north a little bit for Kate's birthday engage in some winter sports Which it'll be very interesting to see how those go by the way Because I am always like the tag-along Snowboarder you might remember uh, You know arcs that occurred before complete disaster. I had s skied for like three or four years but the boots always crushed my foot. So, wouldn't you know it, January 2019, I say, hey, seems like the perfect time to learn how to snowboard. I took a couple of lessons. We have a friend who is a, a very good snowboarder, like an ex-snowboard instructor. He very patiently, you know, walked me through the steps and um, I felt like it's slow going. I, I took uh, like a formal lesson as well for an hour or two and you know, I was starting to get to the point where I could reliably make it down the bunny hill, falling like once or twice, which is not that good. But when you're older and you start doing new things, you tend to kind of be pretty bad at them <laughs> the first couple times. Uh, and I think anybody will tell you this is not just copium. Learning to ski is actually like pretty easy. I know it because I skied two times, uh, well, maybe like five times when I was a kid, between the ages of like, you know, 10 and 14 on uh, class field trips, right? And uh, before I went skiing, I would, you know, you sign the permission slip. Uh, you're like, do I need a lesson? They're like, oh, don't worry about it. You'll pick it up. And honestly, for the most part, you kind of do. I'm not advocating for not getting a lesson, especially if you're old enough to be like willfully listening to me bore you out of like your own volition. I would highly recommend getting a lesson because again, the older you get, the, the harder it gets to pick up new stuff. But when it does get picked up, it's ossified in there forever. Like I, I think I could still probably drive home from my high school to my, uh, the home I lived my teenage years in, um, in my mind. Now, what did I have for breakfast this morning? Trick question, didn't have time to eat breakfast. So I had, um, an Armstrong cheddar cheese single-serve package and a kind bar. I don't know if you call it breakfast, but it occupied the right hours. Um, but uh, no, you really do just pick it up. You, the hardest part of learning to ski is getting the ski boot to get into the ski reliably. Once you get that under control, I mean, like, physics kind of handles the rest. You're just looking where you want to go. 
and you know how to break, which is, you, you know, you do the pizza and then you're good to go. Um, snowboarding is kind of like the opposite, right? Because you don't really think about it, but uh, you normally do not snowboard like facing forward so much. You're, you're more doing like a, a serpentine motion unless you want to go as fast as is humanly possible and be scared and, and die. Um, or alternatively, you could just hold on the brakes the whole time, at which point, like, your knees will fall off, which was what I was doing a lot of, <laughs> admittedly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, wouldn't you know it, I, I was just starting to get the hang of it, the shoes were much more comfortable, and I was like, hey, snowboarding, I can kind of see it. I kind of get it. I, I, you know, it's, it's not just for, for hippies and illicit cannabis consumers anymore, it's for everybody. And then, uh, wouldn't you know it, the pandemic struck, and, uh... Haven't been in a couple of years, so I've always kind of been the the tag along. I never should have popped that. What are you thinking, Damocles? Spawns a sword above your head, which doubles all item pedestals. Does not double shop chest or devil deal items. Kills you at a random time after taking damage from an enemy. Also known as you can never take this. The, you, you know the meme that's like, would you live in this beautiful house for a billion dollars, but you couldn't drink Bud Light? And people were like, no, dude, I value my freedom too much to give up the Bud Light for a billion dollars. Are you crazy? Um, that's like the opposite. You know, Damocles is like, would you die to get two range upgrades instead of one? No, I wouldn't. Like, honestly, get bent. <laughs> you can make me a better offer. That's the way this market works. Are you crazy? You want me to pay two hearts to get double the useless items, uh, and uh, randomly, just for memes, when I get hit, I could be killed. Okay, sounds like fun. Um, sure, why not? You know, we'll, we'll try it. Anyway, I've always been like the tag along, right? Kate's really good at snowboarding. Um, I don't know if like what being really good at snowboarding means. Maybe comfortable is a better word. I I, I want to get back into it for real. Especially now that I got like 10 Peloton rides under my belt, so I'm pretty much like a professional athlete. Uh, probably like one of the strongest people like on, in, and one of the fittest, I would say. So snowboarding is like no big deal. Like the mountain does most of the work for you, unlike me when I'm, when I'm on my Peloton grooving to Bruno Mars. Like I, I have to push those pedals, man, in many ways. Um, help me. Help me. Help me. Um, but now that we have a baby... I don't know if I'm going to be, like, I have no problem being the house husband who is just chilling with the baby all day, like, drinking delicious warm beverages while my wife is ripping up the slopes. Like, that honestly sounds kind of nice. I don't know if that's how it's going to go, but uh, we'll, we'll see, I suppose. Dude, I legitimately, I guess with nine lives, it's not that big of a deal. I legitimately could die here, though. The run is fine. We just, like, we're at kind of a local valley. Not a hill valley. Or a hidden valley. What am I, playing the match game or something? Any chance you drop a bomb when you die? Also, with this little HP, I would not advocate Yum Heart. Maybe we would go Krampus's head if we're lucky enough to get it. No bomb. No Krampus's head. No, no job, no hope, no cash, right? No jobs, no hope, no cash. That's right. Exactly. Anyway. So even today, and I gotta acknowledge, somebody on my subreddit was like, it's amazing how this guy can talk for 15 minutes about nonsense that he got distracted by, and immediately go back to what he was talking about, even though everybody else has forgotten it. It's true. Thank you, Brain. I don't know how you kept that thread in there. I guess you just created like a nucleation point or something, but I do appreciate it. Um... Even today, I was getting winter tires put on so that I didn't go to prison trying to drive my wife up to, you know, a ski resort. And uh, I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. Like, we had to reschedule. Like, our whole family's been sick. And he was like, oh, yeah, no worries. Like, everybody's has. He, he didn't say it. You just have to trust me as a keen observer of human behavior. He didn't mean it like, yeah, sure. He was like, yeah, no, it's like pretty bad right now. I don't, I guess maybe everybody's kind of, or, or everybody that's interacting with a, you know, forced to interact with people on a daily basis is kind of getting the same immune system reboot that uh, I've been going through for a bit here. I can't say for certain. I did, I, I went out today. I, I bought my wife some cold medicine. I had a, it is a pretty good story too. 
I was at the self checkout and the lady in front of me, like, I don't know what was going on with her. Um, so I feel bad. Like, this is not meant to make fun. It's just meant, like, in solidarity. And I think when you hear the story, you'll be like, we've all had days like this, right? Um, she had two six pack uh, Coca Cola products. I do want to try the mob trap room, by the way. That's why I'm walking back here. Um, she had two six pack Coca Cola products. The, they were like the Coca-Cola Zero mini cans and then the Coca-Cola Classic mini cans. She scanned one, uh, and as she was taking it off of the scanner, she picked it up by like the plastic rings. One of the cans broke free from the plastic and uh, just like hit the ground and explode is not the word I would use. But, you know, like, it, it created a, a, a fissure, like, not a sinkhole, but, like, the, the can started to spray its, its delicious nectar all over the floor. She looked at it for, like, two seconds. I swear to you, she just walked out the dang store. And nobody stopped her. We were, everybody was just, like, fair enough. Like, I don't think she was walking out. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe she was walking out thinking she was getting a, a deal. Like, oh, they're going to make me pay for this Coke, even though, like, a six-pack of Coke? Five cans for the price of six? I would never, right? Um, but uh, I, I would like to think that maybe she was just having, like, a day. You know, and she thought, you know what would be nice right now? Some zero-calorie Coca-Cola beverage. And then, uh, oh, thank you. For nothing. Um, and then when it all went wrong, she was just like, you know what? Nah. Not today. I'm just not going to deal with it today. And I, I have some respect for that. I, I can't really be... Uh, I can't be too upset, I think. Not that it bothered me at all. Um, I mean, we talked about it before. I always, like... Uh, I, I grew up... I don't know. Paranoid is not the right word, because that's, like, almost a, a medical term. But... Um, Think, my mom is one of those people who's like, you know, even if you bought, like, a leaf blower from Canadian Tire, if you then walked into, like, a, a grocery store, she would be like, make sure you have the, uh, like, receipt for the leaf blower, because I don't want them at no frills to think that we stole the leaf blower from here and we're trying to leave without it. Like, it would be, like, a really weird gambit. People always say ridiculous stuff they have no evidence to back up as well. They'll be like, no, it happens. It happens. People go to No Frills, buy like a whole load of groceries just to obscure the leaf blower that they're stealing. By the way, you might be saying some grocery stores do sell household appliances like leaf blowers. That is true. It wasn't that true in like 1994, which is when these stories take place. But anyway, that's, uh, that's how I grew up. So I, I'm always like a little... I always think like, oh, like, I don't want to go into that store unless I'm going to buy something because the stuff looks expensive. And what if I trip over my shoelaces and knock over one of the shelves and it knocks over another shelf? And all of a sudden I'm in some kind of, I'm in like a, a I don't even know, a Benny Hill show or something like that. But um, I the, the one situation I've had, and I, I thank chat for like explaining it to me. The one situation where I've had it happen is I was in... Uh, Ontario represent. I was in the LCBO with a friend of mine 13, 14 years... Well, yeah, probably 13, 14 years ago now. Um, I, that was a very risky play. While we were walking, she had, like, winter boots on, and she accidentally kicked over a bottle of vodka, and it shattered off the shelf and, like, hit the floor. Uh, it fell off the shelf and shattered on the floor, I should say. So I, being a college student, I, I didn't, I had a sense of integrity, right? I didn't leave the scene of the crime. Um, I stood there, I waited, somebody came around, and I was like, oh, sorry, we knocked this over, what should we do? And he was like, oh, you're good, just leave. So I guess, like, a, maybe a, a, your mileage may vary, but certainly I feel like at a... at a, a bigger store like that, they just build the breakage sort of into their, uh into their calculations. As long as you weren't going around, like, breaking stuff maliciously, I'm sure they don't even really care who you are, you know? It's just, like, the law of large numbers, like, one in 100,000 people is gonna come in and knock something over by accident, and we just eat it. I'll take more curse rooms, sure. But, uh, actually, I will say I had that happen one other time. I was in the grocery store, and this was, like, last year. 
<laughs> I uh, I was trying. It's totally my own fault. I was trying to man mode, um, like carrying a bunch of stuff because it wouldn't all fit in the one basket that I got, and I'm like opposed to taking a cart unless I need one. It's just who needs that kind of hassle? You ever get a cart, then you gotta babysit that cart the whole time, and you're like, man, Kanye West water bottle tweet. But uh, I I had a, a container of iced coffee. It was a plastic container with a plastic lid. I it slipped out of my hands. Hit the floor, lid cracked, popped off, spilled iced coffee everywhere, right? I, uh, nobody came. I waited next to it for like five minutes. Nobody came to clean it up. So I figured, you know what? Like, I'm in the checkout line already. I might as well just go up and tell, you know, one of the cashiers. And then I got up to the front and I was like, hey, just so you know, you know, back in the checkout line, I dropped a container of iced coffee. And I was also giving them the opportunity to, like, add it on to my itemized receipt, right? If they wanted to charge me for it. And then the guy looked at me and said, what? And I said, oh, in the checkout line, I dropped uh, an iced coffee container and it broke if somebody wants to clean it up. And then he just, he went, ha ha. Like, he clearly still did not hear or understand what I was saying. And I was like, you know what? At this point, I've done my part as a... As a citizen, <laughs> I've done, I've done all that could. If if somehow this was, oh, thank you so much. It's dinner time soon. <laughs> if somehow this was presented in a court of law, I would be like, Your Honor, I repeated myself two times. Like if that doesn't demonstrate the goodwill of uh, a man trying to atone for his mistake, then I don't know what it is. You know, what am I supposed to do? Take on a like a full time job? Uh, standing there at the counter until they like recognize it and charge me with something like I you know I got stuff to do they got stuff to do I mean I'm just having that conversation I think at that point is probably like costing everybody money spin to win I just don't know how you work so I'm just I'll, I'll, I'll take the L on that one it could be good with mom's knife I have my suspicions but I have been wrong many times in this game so yeah anyway it's going around I'm always interested with stuff like breakage, man. I know I told this story very recently, so I apologize for the rehash, but uh, it's what I think, like, I, I saw a security guard chase down a, a woman who had stolen, oh, a golden penny, uh, a PS4 or a PS5 from a, an electronics store. She ran out into traffic with it, and he ran out uh, after her, and then yoinked it out of her hands. It was a green light for, like, traffic that was oncoming, you know? So, pardon me. On the one end, I'm like, you know, you gotta hand it to the guy. Even if we consider that a mistake, and I really do, you gotta hand it to him. Like, he understood the assignment. At the same time, I'm like, man, this store, like, it's freaking huge, man. It's gotta be printing, like, you know, $500 bills every, like, two or three minutes. People are going through with literally, like, carts and carts and carts full of stuff. Um, I gotta just, like, the fact that you you ended up kind of pseudo-risking your life, or genuinely risking your life, just to stop your store, not even from losing out on the price of a PS5, but from losing out on, like, the margin. <laughs> like, the wholesale cost of the PS... That's... I get that, like, you know... You, you probably felt pressure. I'm not trying to put the guy on blast. He probably felt pressure. Oh, let's go, man. Le that's two good items. He probably felt pressure, like, from his employer to go the extra mile. But, man, oh, man. I'm like, that's... You gotta factor that in as breakage, man. I'll be very clear with you. Like, I've never shoplifted in my life. I know that some people, they, they find it hard to believe. It's this. I'm not saying I've lived a purely innocent life. That's insanity, you know? We've told, I threw, I put a pickle in Mouth's beer once. <laughs> it was probably like a $6 pint. Hey, back in like 2010, man. Just run the numbers on the inflation there. So roughly flat until last year. And then <laughs> pretty, it's just gone up a little bit. Um, I still don't want it there, but that's fine. Um, but... Uh, Two things that people are always like, quit lying. I never shoplifted unless you count. And if you want to, like, go ahead. You know, I, I don't count it, but you can count it if you want. 
Um, when I was three, I ate a grape off of the, the vine in a grocery store, and my mom said, that's stealing. Uh, and I, like, almost cried. So, like, that, and I think that was a great lesson, because now I was like, you know, it, it, it imparted something important onto me, and it, it, the emotion made me remember it for sure. Um, people always go, why are you lying? You never stole a, a candy bar from the corner store? Nah, man. You know how many episodes I saw of, like, sitcoms growing up where Gary Coleman steals a chocolate bar or something like that, and they get the New York Police Department involved? I don't need that stuff in my life. I'm just trying to get through sixth grade. Uh, and the other thing I never did, genuinely, I never cheated on a test or an exam in school. I know how this is going to sound, but, like, for a lot of middle school and high school, it was like, what's the point? <laughs> this is... Not that hard to begin with, not to be the rudest person on earth, but it's not that hard to begin with. And, you know, maybe there's a couple people in the class that I could consider it being, uh, you know, productive to cheat off of. But we got 30-person classrooms thanks to, you know, ex-Ontario uh, Premier Mike Harris. Like, I can't see that far. I got astigmatism. Now, in university, were there perhaps some occasions where we were given online tests? Uh, and we had one person on our dorm do the, well, let's not even call it a test, let's call it a quiz, because that's what it was. A test is not worth, like, you know, 1% of your mark. Um, and we had one person do the test, uh, the quiz, sorry, the quiz, give us the answer key afterwards and then fill it out? Sure, yeah. Did everybody else uh, on our dorm room floor do the exact same thing, including a few people who, you know, may well be your urologist uh, now or in the future? Yes, depending on, you know, if you live in, like, the Scarborough region of, uh, of Ontario, or, or maybe there's parts of Alberta as well where that might apply. Absolutely. Um, we have to... We're going to take... I think this was right. We're not going to take... No? 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 Perhaps I was too hasty. <laughs> My daughter, perhaps I treated you too harsh. I, dude, I don't know. I, I'm like unmarvel pilled right now. I forgot that Hawkeye was even going on. Pretty, I'm, I'm stoked is maybe not the right word, but I'm like optimistic about Spider Man. But I still, the, the number one Marvel clip that lives like rent free in my head is, uh, when Mantis is on Thanos' uh, head trying to, you know, put a spell on him, and he just keeps saying, My Gamora. <laughs> it's just... I'll be, like, having a... Uh, Minecraft Creeper? Minecraft Creeper face? I'll be having, like, you know, just a, a moment of me time, and then Josh Brolin in my head just... My Gamora. <laughs> just... Kiss me every time, man. <clears throat> just such a soulful moment, you know? <laughs> just just want to live in it. Nah, nah. Well, no, that's okay. We got things to do. But yeah, I've never I've never stolen anything from a store. Again, let, let's let's make this now um, into me being the bad guy. Uh, because I don't feel comfortable. Uh, it, it, like, here's the thing. I'm not trying to portray myself as some kind of, like, you know, moral example just because I never shoplifted. Uh, I'm just telling you the truth that I've never shoplifted. That being said, in college, did me and a few friends make a habit after a few beers on, you know, not, not every Friday night, but maybe, like, once every three or four months, uh, going to a, a restaurant that used to exist in my hometown called The Slip, getting a table for three, sitting down, and then after they brought the glasses of water, they, they're like, D are you guys ready? We say, we need a minute. And then they, <laughs> uh, in order to understand the rest of this, uh, this is going to be bad, right? Like, it just straight up bad? Oh, but it gave us the damage up. Okay. Um, you, you need to understand the anatomy of this restaurant. It, it had, a, like, a front door you entered from the street. But then there was also, like, a back patio that exited without, like, a barrier or anything. Like, right on to the, the waterfront of, of my hometown. Um, it was connected to, to one of the hotels in there. So it was kind of like, you, you, could, you could walk in from, I'm not going to call it a beach, but you could imagine that it was. You could walk in from the beach, or you could walk in from, like, the street, like a, a normal human being, right? Um, 
Anyway, so they would bring the waters and they say, are you ready to order? We say, we need a minute. And then when they left and were out of our eye line, we would simply walk out the beach side of the restaurant and then say, we gave them the slip. Yeah, okay. I, 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 when I say we didn't make a habit of it, I'm being sincere. We did it three times, I think. It was just one of those things where, like, you know... When, you, when you've lost... Uh, when just binge drinking in university lost its luster, you had to mix it up with little inside jokes like this. They're a little bit more performative than your average uh, inside joke, but... You know, you did be... 5.45 p.m. on a Friday night? One of your friends says, hey, do you want to give them the slip? I want to be very clear, because people are going to take this out of context. We did not order food, refuse to pay for it, walk out the back door. We sat down. They bring the waters over within 30 seconds. You say, we'll just need a minute here. And then here's the beautiful part. You make the name of the restaurant very true to life. Life imitates art. You give them the slip. That's wh I think that's the reason that I, I was so drawn to it as, a, as an early 20-something. Is that it, it's not a victimless crime because, you know, I'm sure they got to go to the point of sale software. You got to look, I'm not trying to absolve myself of any wrongdoing here. You have to realize most of this stuff happened like an irresponsible amount of alcohol deep. Like, this was not something you would have like a, a casual craft logger with a couple friends of yours and be like, you want to do the, the stupidest uh, non crime of all time? This is like you've been drinking since, you know, 2 p.m. <laughs> You're like, hey, do you want to go for a walk? And let's just bundle it. Like, let's, let's, let's wind it up with one other thing that'll be fun. It's not a victimless crime. I'm sure they have to wash the glasses even if you didn't actually drink from them. Just for safety standards. Um, or I'm sure they, they tell you that that's what they do anyway. But, um... But I think that's what drew me to it, is that I just imagine every server that it ever happened to just going, all right, just just being like, but why? You know what actually is this ridiculous thing? It looms in my head, right? As like with my bad boy face, but I'm pretty sure they probably just went like, oh, I bet they didn't find anything they wanted, but they just didn't want to say like, we're going to leave. <laughs> that happens all the time. Dude, that's like one of the most awkward moments. By the way, people are going to be like, well, you're uh, sapping the labor of the server and costing her. Look, this is back in 2007, 2008, okay? This is when there were no labor concerns. You know, those only started popping up, I think, a couple years ago. <laughs> I'm being facetious. I admit it, it's a silly thing to do and uh, certainly wrong. Wrong in, in principle, if not in, you know, magnitude. Uh, but if you got a problem with that, wait till you hear about wage theft, sister. Clap, 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 clap. Um, anyway. What was I talking about? I don't remember. Uh, garbage. Take me up. This is what it's all about right here. This is the moment. We couldn't win with Brimstone. Now we got Mom's Knife. Thank God, circle of protection. Uh, we, although we did get Guppy. It doesn't matter too much. Squeeze me? Um, because mom's knife, but like it's still, you'd rather, you'd rather have it than not have it. Let's be honest. That was like the scariest moment of being a kid. Is like, at least for me. And, and again, my parents are great parents and like no real moments uh, from my childhood that I'm like, oh, I don't want to share it because it, like, makes my family look bad. But, like, if you go, if I went to a restaurant and, like, my dad was unhappy with the menu, which happened maybe once every year at most. It's, and it doesn't take much. Like, it even happened the first time that they came to Vancouver. We, we spent, you know, like an hour trying to pick a restaurant. And then we said, okay, fine, let's just go to this place. And he started looking at the menu. And, and you know the dad noises. You know, he, he's looking down, like, through his glasses. Like, his glasses aren't sitting quite on his face, right? He's got, like, the Ben Franklin pose. Um, and he's flipping. It's like a four-page menu, and he's read 100 pages. And you're like, oh, man, what's going on here? My mom's like, "Could you? did you find anything, honey? And he's like, um, I don't really see anything. Plus, it's pretty expensive. And I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa. 
And we ended up, le it's so, uh, I, I'm, look, I'm not saying I've never done it, but it, I mean, clearly we gave him the slip, but it's so awkward to like, your server's like, hey, you guys, uh, you ready to order? And you're like, actually, you know, F you, we're leaving. It's not your fault, it's the menu, but still, <laughs> it feels bad. <laughs> I've left, uh, un under genuine circumstances, I have left a restaurant on some occasions. We ate at a restaurant um, in downtown Vancouver. I'm not necessarily trying to put them on blast. There, And I've eaten at, it's a chain restaurant. I've eaten at other locations since. And I believe this location shut down, which honestly is for the best. And, and I mean that sincerely. Because it, it was not, something was not aligned properly. Like, their va their values, just a room with nothing, huh? Versus their execution was not there. But anyway, um, we, like, sat down. This is, a, like, a pretty, I would describe it as a fast, casual restaurant. We sat down. Um, nobody came around to our table for, like, maybe ten minutes to give us even waters or say hello or... You know, try to convince us to buy the daily special where we politely go, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll take the thing I always take, which is not that. Um, so eventually, you know, I had to, I don't mean to be braggadocious, I had to take matters into my own hands. A server walked by our table and I said, oh, excuse me, can we order? Probably not in the nicest tone of voice, I'll admit, but, you know, you've been sitting there just ignored while other tables are getting served, right? You're like, you're... Somehow we ended up in, uh, after we got seated, by a host, I might add, we did not seat ourselves. We ended up in some kind of dining no man's land, like they sat us where nobody was covering and nobody bought into the corporate culture enough to, to really like step up and be like, I'm going to solve this problem. Uh, and the server was not impolite. They said, yeah, I'll be over in just a second. Sorry. Uh, and then we waited another 10 minutes and nobody came over. So we just packed up our stuff and walked out. And while I was walking out, the server just, like, looked at me. And I, I think I appreciate this more than not appreciating it. They didn't say, like, no, 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 I was just about to come over. They just looked at me and kind of gave me a look like, okay, that seems fair. You know, that, that did happen once, but didn't just give them the slip or anything. Hey, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See you.